In Creo Parametric, the View Changes tool allows you to see what modifications you've made to your model in your session. Let's take a look at it. To access the command, you will go to the Tools tab and then the Investigate Overflow menu. Here's the command for View Changes. When I click on that, it's going to open up a dialog box. Right now, it's doing some thinking to figure out what I've done to my model in my session. And then in a moment, it will give me the results. All right, so now it is done thinking. Let's take a look at the interface. Over on the left-hand side, we have the model tree. And you'll notice that there's some color coding on the left-hand side of the screen. On the right-hand side, you have the model graphics, where it's essentially showing you the entire model right now. Down at the bottom of the screen, we have the legend for the various different color codes. So you can see what's been renamed, what's been modified, what's been replaced, what's been deleted or suppressed or resumed, reordered, restructured, so forth and so on. So let's take a look at how we can probe through here. So again, I can see at the top right now, we see the green, so this was renamed. We can see some things in light blue, so those were modified. Then we see some created objects. Right now, I'm just looking at the top level of the assembly. We can see that we have something over here that is has a strike through the name, and then we can see from the color that that was reordered from, so it went somewhere else. And so what's nice about this, it'll tell you where something originally was and then where it went to. Let's make this a little more useful. And the way I find to do that is by going to the show dropdown list over here. Here's the option for unchanged. We'll uncheck that, and by doing that, now we're only seeing what has been modified inside of here. You can use the settings drop-down menu to then choose expand all. And that way you can see through here pretty quickly. Okay, I can see what has been modified in here. Scroll down for some other results. The darker blue indicates objects that have modified placement. Okay, here we see something that was suppressed. And then we see some of the different purple shades. So you can see some objects were replaced and what they were replaced with. And so again, this gives you a good sense of what was changed in your model in your given session. Here we can see that quite a lot of work was done inside of here. Looks like most of the changes are for new objects inside of here. Similarly, when you're using the drop down list over on the left hand side, it's helpful to do that on the right hand side as well. Let's uncheck the unchanged in there, and then maybe we're only interested in objects that were created. So we can uncheck some of the other different options in here. Maybe I'm also interested in what was modified. So again, by unchecking the different options, we're able to filter down to just seeing the objects in the graphics window of what was actually modified in here. Uh, one other thing to note about this tool is that this was actually implemented around the same time as Creo Direct. Creo Direct is the separate application for doing direct modeling. In other words, when you are creating new geometry or modifying geometry, you're working directly on surfaces and different entities in the model, as opposed to your traditional parametric modeling where you are editing definition, you're changing the different parameters and parent-child relationships and references and other different entities that define a feature. And so this utility was developed so that you could see, hey, you know, I am, uh, I've just taken a model over to Creo Direct. Now I'm bringing back into Creo Parametric what mo what was modified during the Creo Direct session. So again, with the tool over here for view changes, you're able to see both and the list and graphically what's been modified to your model. Some other things to note down here, you have some additional controls. If you want to see, say, the model tree and the uh, graphics window in a different orientation, you can use the drop-down list for changing that. There we go. Maybe put it on the other side over here. You also have buttons control whether you're seeing the model tree at all or whether you are seeing the graphics view. 
And so that is how you can use view changes to take a look at what you have modified in your Creo parametric model. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.